I'm Austin Butler. I'm Norman Reedus. This is Picture Car. Come check out these bikes. You gotta get in this. This is the guy that knows more about bikes than I ever will. These two right here are the bike experts. For me, it was a lot of training on the motorcycle. Wind is in your hair, and you're riding on this open stretch of road, and the feeling of freedom. I was learning how to how to ride this bike, and then I told Jeff I wanted to buy a bike, and then he found this bike. Austin loved it, and went and went got yeah, it. Got that one. It actually is in the movie a lot. One of my stunt riders was riding that bike as a vandal. This is 65. That's a 66. New bikes are so different from these old bikes. It, it takes a little bit more finesse. You know, they're heavier and they don't like to stop. I don't know, it's just, it's, they each have their own personality, and so you just have to kind of get used to the feeling. I have a bit of a Frankenstein bike. This is different years of stuff. Like, uh, this is a late 40s Springer front end. Uh, the frame is a 50s, but there's a 70s motor in this one. We originally shot from the front so that you wouldn't see the motor so that later on you could reveal that it was a 70s motor. So he showed up in the 60s. The backstory is it had a 50s motor in it, blew up on the way there. And he and Cal went and stole a new motor and put it in the bike, and then they could show the bike from the side. It has a little uh, rubber ducky, bronze rubber ducky uh, suicide shift on it. Instead of shifting gears with your left foot or your right foot, it's a gear shift like a car. So you have to hold the clutch down and you take your left hand and you shove it in gear. Cooler cred, but harder to run. Jeff told me I cannot hold the rubber ducky to shift. He's like, yeah. you touch this, it'll break up. So my knees are up here, I'm trying to thread this thing, but I'm, I can only put it in gear with my two fingers. And then right before, uh, I'm sitting up there waiting to meet you guys for the first time, and I look over at the makeup bars, I'm like, can I borrow your glasses? And I put them on and, wait, wait, are these prescription? And she goes, yeah, and I'm like, Fuck it, uh, you know, and just went down anyway. And then later, Oliver, who owns this bike, was like, yeah, you could totally do this. So that means that Jeff didn't care if I crashed or not. He just didn't want to hurt this little duck. I mean, honestly, the brakes were, were a big thing, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, stopping? <laughs> stopping. Yeah. The front brakes didn't really, very squeaky and didn't really want to stop. They're all drum brakes. Uh, yeah. running from the cops and I, I'm going over a bridge and coming over that other side and, and you're coming downhill and I was thinking, God, I hope this thing stops. It feels <laughs> like stopping a train. I only went down once. Did you? We were yeah, yeah. Dude, we just were asked that. who went down and we didn't throw any names <laughs> under the bus and you just did yeah. it. I went down on this bike. On that bike? Well, yeah. Did you mess it up or no? Only a little bit. Very little bit. Yeah. These were cocked to the side a little bit. Floorboard got broke off. Floorboard is broken. That sound of the motorcycle, it's like the roar of a lion. You can't have him, the club can't have him, he's mine. 